Hey guys and gals and welcome to another video from the team here at BlenderTech.com for Unity 3D. If you enjoy it or learn something from the video, consider liking it and consider subscribing for more Blender, Unity 3D, coding and all sorts of other CG related videos. Lastly, don't forget our motto, create your way. So I've spent the entire Saturday um, figuring out how Unity's uh, 4.6 new UI system works and I think I've got the basics down I originally had a problem getting my uh, getting my texture and the uh, text to scale properly on different on different resolutions and I I found out in the end that none of the options they give you for uh, for anchors pivots and positions really do any justice the best way to do it is to uh, is to add an editor script this one here which basically just sets the anchor points at the very corners of of the um, of the UI object so all you have to do is select your UI object and then go into the editor and just go uh, anchor to corners and it'll set it exactly to the corners of um, of the UI object so that that was a huge help otherwise things were just going all over the place when I when I switched uh, when I switched resolutions trying to test it anyways so the final result we get I basically I've improved uh, the binocular script I've uh, created my own my own little binocular uh, it ended up having to be a sprite for use in the new UI system but an updated version basically that yeah it's just uh, it's the same deal basically I didn't quite center it I found out but it's uh, it's got a PSD as well and I'll post this all up eventually that you can edit and yeah it's just a softly um, deleted feathered couple ellipses with some uh, feathered little mill lines and a little red dot in the center and then we have two on top we have our binocular canvas so just our regular canvas which is a uh, screen space screen space overlay it scales with screen size which our reference resolution is a uh, full HD and we want to match with their height with a value of zero reference pixels per unit 72 um, we want nothing blocking our graphic ray caster that was getting in the way of me for a while and then uh, the actual texture is this here and it's it's uh, the features in Unity actually worked to allow it to conform to any resolution and any attempts to change that sh has it should have it going back to its regular size apparently not at the moment it was earlier anyways so that's that and then there's just two text layers a distance readout which is just a simple uh, text one which you add from the UI level you've got text as well as I believe I used image not raw image and um, it doesn't really matter what you put in here it's all it's all controlled by the scripts this one doesn't need to be here actually and then uh, there's this neat little font that I added on as well and then the second one is the zoom level same deal it's just slightly smaller and in red obviously and lastly we've added on to our uh, I've removed the camera switch script because it was just getting in the way and it was garbage essentially <laughs> but um in updating the script you can see the original one compared to the new one obviously a lot more advanced there's still a lot of optimization that can be done but um, we have a bunch more variables that we can adjust now and also it can be adapted to um, all sorts of different things with the new UI system I've figured out now how to finally attach 
different types of um, UI game objects to variables as well as how canvases work and I've also added a simple sound however uh, I don't do a lot with sounds and it's it's the best sounding one I could get and then in our camera we've added an audio source so that it's able to listen to it however we don't actually include an audio clip or set any settings except for the volume that is all controlled by the script again remember I'm using Visual Studio it's no different than mono I can just debug on the fly so our old binocular script was quite simple the new one quite a bit not quite a bit but a fair amount larger so I've just added uh, a basic uh, update a uh, change log to it with some future goals where I'd like to decrease our mouse look sensitivity when we uh, zoom in at every level. I'd like to create an array for zoom levels instead of just using uh, three or four if statements. I'd like to calculate the zoom level property trying to do a Majolo uh, kind of worked but um, it also it, it left some uh, it left some ears where I think if if rounding rounding to either up or down might have fixed it but I was running out of steam when I got to that point so anyways yeah we basically um, changed from the old on GUI to the new canvas UI system we've added multiple sound levels added sound customized the texture and we've added ray casting for a distance meter. So under our global variables, we have the new canvas UI variables. So our canvas is um, variable name. Variable name is Binoc. We have two uh, UI text variables. One is dist text for distance. One is zoom level text. Then we have ray casting variables. Um, they don't show up in the inspector, but I have hide an inspector here anyway just for getting in the habit of remembering to put it when you want to hide public variables. So we have a vector 3, which is a ray direction, which basically is just telling Unity the direction that we're ray casting from. Then we have a ray cast hit variable. Uh, named hit that's where the raycast hits and returns the distance then we just have a simple game object which um, is named player and that's uh, that's where the raycasts are emitted from and then as before we have a smooth view function this should probably be down here actually with our field of view variables again we have our stock field of view of 60 we have our zoom levels 1 2 and 3 of 35 25 and 15 and then we have our audio variables being our audio clip which is named zooming in sound and these are everything's all assigned in the inspector so once once the scripting is or once this once all this code is put onto the script and it's attached to the camera game object, then you just have to, excuse me, attach everything to their, uh, to their respective variables. Anyways, so again, we're using the start function. So we start with uh, Binoc, so that's our canvas. So the entire the entire canvas, we start with it disabled. So that way we just have our regular um, player control script, just our regular view, and then we also set both of the text UI um, game objects to uh, null or nil or whatever you'd like to call a blank string and um, just so that there's no text remaining 
if um, we left some in the inspector, basically just zeros them out since we're going to be changing it with code. And then in the update function, um, if again, uh, you can change it to a to a key press easily, but again, if um, the right mouse button is held down, then it calls the canvas function or it calls the call canvas function, sorry, and the call canvas function is this one in which we enable our, our um, canvas. So we enable our texture and the text. And then if we press um, the keyboard uh, number one, then it plays the zooming in sound with the pitch of 1.5, the camera field of view changes to our zoom one value, and um, our zoom level text is set to um, zoom 2x. And like I said, in the future, I'd like to actually calculate this properly. That's why I didn't just leave this as one string. And it's the same for every single zoom level, just the pitch changes accordingly, as well as the zoom level and the zoom variable. Otherwise, it's all the same. And then if the player lets go of the right mouse button, so else, an else statement, then we call the dismiss canvas uh, function which simply just set, uh, sets the camera's field of view back to the stock field of view. And we don't even need the transform part. I was just trying out different ways. And then we, um, then we turn off uh, all the, all the, we turn off the canvas and we we set the uh, zoom level text to uh, zoom 0x which um, which is just so that the next time it is called you have zoom 0x instead of whatever the previous zoom level was and then we also do during a fixed update, so slightly less often than the update function, it it depends on the depends on the uh, on the FPS rate. There's a great link here for um, a way to see the differences between a fixed update, late update, and regular update, and it shows how uh, each frame is drawn and everything. And so basically. Uh, all the ray casting is just done on fixed update, which is essentially just keeps all the physics in sync with um, No matter what the what the FPS is and I assume this would save you a little bit of performance since fixed update is called slightly less often But it's not major anyways, so we take our ray direction variable and we assign it to um, a transform direction, which is just a simple vector three forward, so straight forward. And and then um, if the ray cast from the object we've assigned to player, which would be um, our camera, I believe, yeah. That goes out in the ray direction, so straight forward until it hits something. And if it hits something, it, um, it gives out, then it changes the the um, canvas's text to distance plus the dis the hit distance. So we have our variable hit and we have our variable or uh, sorry dot distance is just a is just a method of the uh, raycast uh, function plus m for meters. 
and then if it doesn't if it doesn't hit anything it just simply changes again the the um oh i'm not used to these new terms the um the canvas text um text to no reading and I believe that is all there is to it. Yep. Oh, right. And um, to use the new UI functions, you'll have to add in uh, using UnityEngine.UI um, to get the text to display properly. Well, at all. Otherwise, nothing else has really changed. It's still a fairly basic script. Again, I'd like to uh, make these changes in the future, but I've spent all day on this trying to learn the new system. Well, not all day. I did a lot of sleeping too, but um, starting to run out of steam, so I'm calling this uh, version 1.0 beta because it works. So anyways, the final result that we get is... As before, sorry, I have gizmos on, but our regular um, player walk and run script and our, uh, our look script. And then when you hold down the right mouse button, we get our texture up with a distance counter. And as you can see, it's not quite centered. That's about how much I'm off there. About the height of that line there is how much my centering was off in Photoshop. And then if we hold down one, we get our audio and it zooms in and then gives us our zoom level. Same with um, pressing the number two slightly higher pitch and more zoom and the same with number three the highest pitch and the highest zoom level and then if we let go it brings us back so same as before just a little bit fancier and getting more advanced so anyways, that is about it. It's essentially another script giveaway. This one I definitely can't fit on screen due to all of my... I can't even remember how to full screen um, Visual Studio. Alt-Shift-Enter. Due to all my commenting but it's fairly basic. And a lot of this really can be put in the update function, but again, it's, it's always good to get in the habit of uh, learning to make your own, your own functions. I believe it uh, leads to cleaner, cleaner, cleaner code overall. Anyways, that is about all. I just wanted to share this with you guys. It will be on BlenderTech.com under the Assets page uh, once I get around to it. Earlier today, I updated it with uh, the older version as well as every other script from what we've been learning. So anyways, thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something about raycasting, about audio, anything in general, then consider liking it and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. We're now on Twitter at Twitter.com slash Blender underscore tech and Facebook at Facebook.com slash Blender tech page, all one word. If you dislike this video for some reason, please tell us why so we can continually improve our videos based on your community input. We also take requests and call for help. So if you'd like to see something here or if you're having issues with something, then just let us know and we will try to make a video for you if time permits. That is all for now. So see you next time and remember, create your way.